or what you can do is uh, I mentioned it earlier you can if you don't want to use cords if, if you like let's say you have your phone and the phone that you use and you don't want to um, have it sitting there next to the TV you can let this run in the background so what I'm doing now is I'm about to enable Cody and I made a video on this but I'm about to enable Cody to be able to play to the TV, to the Chromecast, to the Xbox, whatever. Basically, if whatever you got connected, if I could find the, the folder, whatever you got connected to the TV. And I'm going to show you just how quick it is. Matter of fact, I'm going to start from the beginning. I went online. That ain't the beginning. I went online. I downloaded a file. Bubble UPMP Player Core Factory. Oops. Let me go back to it. This one. I downloaded that, right? I copied it. So now all I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to, and this is how easy it is to get Cody to play on your TV if you want to use Wi-Fi. If you want to use um, wired devices like an old cell phone or something, you just buy the $10 quarter Amazon US, uh, micro USB to HDMI and you just plug it up and you know it, it'll work now if you wanted to do something a little more fancy um, all you do is the file that I downloaded I'm gonna put it in the Cody folder and this is not difficult I put it in the Cody folder I renamed it and that all it is is it's gonna tell Cody uh, when I run, where is it? When I run Cody, it's going to open a certain app. And the other app is still, uh, you can't see it, but this is still mirroring on my TV. It's pretty cool. But now I'm going to show you how this is going to get on the TV. I'll just pick one. Now this is supposed to play through the other app. Oh, I know what I need to do. It's supposed to play through the other app. See, now it's paying to this app. Now this app is sending it to my TV. All right, now I'm about to show you in a second. Um, let me go to my camera going to my TV in a second and hopefully my terrible internet won't stop it from you can see it's loading up there I don't know if it's going to play due to uh, the Wi-Fi setup I got which is lousy but if you have a dependable dependable Wi-Fi this should pre play pretty quickly but, but my whole point is look how easily I got Cody to play on the TV or to get to the TV now to get in it getting it to play properly is a matter of having to go Wi-Fi but BAM just that quickly I downloaded the free software it's on I got it to go to my TV um, now you may now I know a person that sells these fire sticks if they saw this video the first thing they would say is you don't have any channels well let me show you how quick it is to get channels And this is on my tablet again. Hmm, interesting. Why is it not there? All right. Close. Close. Oh, yeah, yeah. I know why it's not there. So, all right, I've only done this a couple. All right, here you go. This is how easy it is. Now you saw I only had one channel. I'm gonna go back and show you. Bear with me here. I'm gonna show you. I only got one channel, ABC Family. Now I'm about to show you how easy it is to get the rest of them. System, now I did a tutorial on this, so I'm not gonna go slow. You can watch the other one. Add source. 
these little small buttons are annoying. Now, another thing you could do is uh, you can use your phone as a room. No, I'm not going to get into all that. But basically, if you have a device running Kodi, then you can use another device as a remote. So you don't have to deal with this. All right, I think this is done. Now, if I did this properly, I will have, oh, wrong thing. If, I, if I'm doing this properly, which I'm pretty sure I am, I will have all of the channels in a second. Just to show you, okay, super repo enabled. Now let us go back to Vitio add-ons. Get more. All right, it is checking add-on for updates. All right, there, there is a way to make them all just load up right here. This is my list where I only got the one. There is a way to make them, matter of fact, let me see if I can do that. I'm still under five minutes, even though it's funny. I'm fiddling around trying to remember from memory how I did it, and I'm still under five minutes. So let me go back to this. Not that. No, same thing. Sorry. Settings. Add-ons. I'm going to figure this out. And I'm not going to edit this video because I want y'all to see just how quick this is. So even though I'm, even though I'm, uh, even though I'm stumbling around a little bit, it's still not going to take that long. So this will give you an idea of what it would be like once you did this. And you probably do it faster than me. <laughs> Super repo repository. All right. Not end up doing the same thing. Don't matter because the the main channels that you would get, you can see there's like a million of them. E F G. I'm just looking for Genesis. So, all right, <laughs> I'm only going to download that one. Um, to be honest, I don't even know all of the best ones. I know the main ones, but you only really need a few really good ones. So those are the only ones I know about, but there are thousands of channels and I'm waiting for Genesis to pop up here. There you go, Genesis pop-ups. Now, movies. I always go to most popular because I don't know what's out. So bam, just that quickly, I have movies and stuff. Just that quickly. I mean, how long did that take? I don't know, but look how quickly that was. Now, a thing that they don't tell you about this software. Oh, oh why would I pick that one? That one is just gonna be like the dude in the theater with a camera, don't wanna watch that. Um, what they don't tell you, I'm trying to pick something I know that has good links. What they don't tell you when they show you these devices is that these links to these movies at any time can stop working. So if it says, if you see no stream available uh, at the bottom, you see at the bottom right, no stream available, that link doesn't work. So you just, basically you would just keep trying these until you find one that worked. And this would be the same on whatever device you have, Fire Stick, um, Android, whatever. It would be the same thing because it's the same software. And um, okay, now it's going to my TV again. Let's see if it will actually play. Again, you shouldn't have any issues, but uh, with the Wi-Fi I got, I have issues. Matter of fact, let me let me try this again. playlist sometimes it'll play the old movie that you had in there and not the one you just selected so that's why i just 
deleted all of that and I'm going to pick this video file again and we are going to watch it pop up on the TV. I can't guarantee it'll actually play, <laughs> but you'll see it loading. Wait, I'm pressing the wrong buttons here. All right, so, so loading on my TV. And I'm using my phone's hotspot, so <laughs> this may take a while. I'm not even going to let y'all sit through that. And I know someone, there's, there'll probably be at least one person that will say, oh, he didn't even get it to work. It's, it's right there on my TV. I just need better internet. I'm using my phone's internet right now. Ghetto Fabulous. So... And I mean, that's pretty much it. I just want to show you, I'm gonna go back to Amazon so you can see what the cord looks like. like. I mean, think about it. Like if you have a Galaxy S4 and let's say the screen cracked or you upgraded or whatever, and now you got the S5, you got the S6. I mean, there are other Androids out there, but everybody seems to want those. So that's why I mentioned those. And, um, Take your old phone, as long as it still works and you can still see on the screen and touch still works and whatever. Take your old phone, buy this cord right here. Buy this cord. You connect, you'll connect it to a charger. The, the, the end on the far left here, that will connect to your phone. The middle will connect to your TV and the right piece will connect to the charger so that it'll charge while it's still sending the signal to your TV. It's $10 and only four left in stock. It's $10, you know what I mean? And you can use devices you have and get the same software. So, and here's another device. Now this one costs a little more. This one's $80. The whole point is, and look at the specs. No matter of fact, I'm gonna go back to the $40 one. This $40, Android box if it'll pop up. Oh my gosh, my internet is terrible. So um, this $40 box, this is, I'm not telling y'all to buy this. I'm just saying that there's an alternative to the Fire Stick. The Fire Stick isn't the end all to all. So you could buy this and let's look at the specs. It says it up at the top, but let's see if we can find it here. This is, all right. So I had to make sure I, I looked at it right. This is a quad core. It, had a, it has a quad core processor, quad core CPU, and it has one gigabyte of RAM. Again, the Fire Stick has two cores and one gigabyte of RAM. This device has four cores and one gigabyte of RAM. So the Fire Stick, the device itself, isn't the best thing since sliced bread. The software is the key to it. The software is what make it special. And that same software is available on pretty much anything. The only advantage the Fire Stick has is being able to connect directly into your TV. But if you have devices already that you're not using, you can use those. Don't let nobody scam you. If you want to get a Fire Stick because you like it, because it's convenient, it's simple or whatever, if you want one, Buy it yourself for $40, set it up yourself, or get somebody to do it for free. Don't pay no $100 or whatever. It's $40. Don't get robbed.